I've been known to be very vocal with M. Night's recent releases. He's one of the most polarizing directors to date, and his movies are very hit and miss. While Trap, it hit the mark for me. Yes, I'm just as shocked as you. I did not know what to make of it, but I end up enjoying the film, believe it or not. Um, Trap, uh, the first two acts of the movie, I'll say they blend together. Uh, they're more of the same. It's a lot of exposition, but it never hinders the film, in my opinion. Um, it, the exposition is very vital to the film itself, and I did not find myself bored during those first two acts, and um, the pacing was very well. Also, I'll say this film is very unique, almost experimental at times as far as the concept goes. I'm not going to say too much because I'm not I don't know how much is known about the uh, film structure itself. So, um, yeah, I do got to put out those uh, good points about this film. But enough of talking about the first two acts. Uh, I'm going straight to it. Uh, this third act of this film is absolutely insane. <laughs> It will make or break the film for a lot of people. It will pull you out of the film because it it did for me for a little bit, but it reeled me back in, man. Um, and I'm not going to argue with you if you dislike this film. So I'll just throw that out there because. But to me, um, the third act being so bonkers works because this film is a PG-13 film and there is no blood, kills, things of that nature. So they substitute it with um, this over-the-top insanity um, that happens here in the third act, and I think it works well. I think that's how you, this is how you do a PG-13 horror film, where you're not always looking out for the kills, uh, jump scares, or things of nature, where you could um, interject other uh, influences into the film and still make it work. And I, and I hesitate to um, categorize this film as a straight-up horror, because it's not. This is borderline thriller. It might even be thriller altogether, but it does have slight horror um, elements to it, so I still give it a horror wink. But yeah, man, I really dug this film. Um, the concept was great. Josh Hartnett was fantastic, in my opinion. He played this unhinged character so well, in my opinion, man. Now, you know, if you go to an M. Night film, you should expect this big plot twist that will pretty much flip the movie on top of its head. Guess what? It's not here this time. What he does instead is just add these little twists and turns in the movie that doesn't completely change the narrative of the movie, but I think it forwards the story more and it actually makes sense to the type of story they're trying to tell here. And I and I prefer it because um, if you would have had this huge plot twist and as bonkers as this third act um, is, I think it would have been a little too much and that's where um yeah it, it all would have broken the seams of the movie for me but the how he interjects these this small or these few little small twists that it kind of makes sense when you look at it but it doesn't do too much in my opinion and i love that approach uh m knight is not somebody that's known to be subtle so him uh taking that approach here i'm guessing he listened to his critic for the last time i cannot stress this third act is pretty insane um please go in there with an open mind and i think you will enjoy this movie i'll say uh this is his best film since split i actually enjoyed this film it was easy to just sit back watch and relax and yeah uh, i dug it and definitely recommend it